hey guys how you doing this is su amigo alex your friend alex please don't forget to watch this from the beginning until the end so you don't miss any of the steps i'm giving you to transfer your whatsapp from your android to the new iphone 16. we are using here an iphone 11 with ios 18.0 by using ios 18 beta i'm preparing yourself whenever you get the new iphone 16 that is coming in september if you have the new iPhone 16, probably you have the latest iOS 18, okay? But in case you want to do this with another iPhone, please go to settings, go to general and click software update. I want to make sure you have the latest iOS compatible with your device. That's number one. Here on the Android, I want you to do the same thing. I want you to go to settings, about phone, and here click on software update. And you can see here that we have One UI version 6.1 and Android version 14. I want you to make sure that you have the latest Android version for your device, okay? Also, go to Play Store and you're gonna search for WhatsApp. If you see open, that means that you have the latest version. If you see update, you have to update your WhatsApp, all right? Another thing I want you to do, guys, I want you to do a fresh copy of your WhatsApp. How can you do that? Go to the three dots, settings, you're gonna go to chats and from here, click chat backup. Make sure what email account you're using. I have two Gmails. I'm gonna use SwamiwaLex5 at Gmail. I'm gonna put my backup there. Also make sure to include videos and the end-to-end -end encrypted backup is gonna be off. And that's it, do a backup. Why I'm doing a backup? Because I want to have the latest chat history on my Android device so I can move it to the iPhone with my latest chat history. My backup size is only 67 megabytes. Yours is gonna take longer, right? You know that Google Drive only gives you 15 gigs of storage. If your WhatsApp backup is bigger than 15 gigs of storage, you're gonna have to buy more storage from Google, okay? Now that you have your backup done and you have your Android updated, your WhatsApp updated, I want to show you what are we gonna move from the Android to the iOS. Specifically this chat that I have a lot of stuff, right? I took this picture today and I have a more pictures, audio messages, emojis, memojis, stickers, different file types, attachments, contacts. And here I have more videos. Make sure the videos play, all right? Yes, it's plain. Okay. We are only going to consider this move successful if we see all of this stuff, specifically this chat here on the iPhone. So I'm sure you're anxious to move from your Android to the new iPhone 16. How can you do this? You're going to download an app, open the Play Store, and you're going to search for move to iOS. This is the official app created by Apple to move from Android to iOS. Click install. It's only 641 megs, so it's gonna be fast. And we're gonna open it. Agree, move to iOS, continue. Terms and conditions, agree, don't send. Local permission required. You need to have location turn on. And then click continue. You can select while using the app. Notification permission, continue, allowed. Find your code. If you don't see a code on your iOS device, make sure you are on iOS Setup Assistant and have select Move Data from Android. If you buy the iPhone 16, you're gonna have it factory reset it. You're not gonna have it set it up like that. This one is already set up. So if for some reason you have an iPhone that is already set up, do a backup on iCloud because what we need to do guys, in order to find this Move Data from Android, you need to factory reset your iPhone. So after doing your backup, you're gonna go to Settings and then General. And here, transfer or reset iPhone. And you're gonna select erase all content and settings. Erase this iPhone, continue. Erase iPhone. It says uploading data to iCloud. You can let it finish or you can just skip the backup. If for some reason your WhatsApp backup on the Android is more than five gigs, you need to buy iCloud Plus because iCloud only gives you five gigs of free storage. So if your backup is more than five gigs, it's impossible to fit on the iCloud that you have. So you need to buy a bigger iCloud. The next tier is 50 gigs for $1 a month. So I just wanted to let you know that. Okay, so it's taking longer. I'm just gonna skip it and I need to put my password. All right. Enter the Apple account password for swamigoalex2 at gmail.com to turn off Find Mine. And look at this, the phone is doing a factory reset. We're waiting for the iPhone to factory reset. And it's done, guys. The iPhone 16 is factory reset. If you buy a new iPhone, the iPhone 16, and you turn it on, you're going to see it like this, factory reset it. So now let's uh, configure it really quick. English, United States, continue. 
And here, guys, the iPhone 16 is connecting to the Apple servers to see if this iPhone is uh, locked or is unlocked or is, is good, you know? Once it clears that uh, check, now we can continue. Face ID later. Passcode. Don't use passcode. Don't use passcode. This is the window that we were waiting for. It says transfer your apps and data. And here is an option saying from Android. And this is what we need. Move data from Android. And here it says from Android. So click here. Transfer from Android. Continue. And this is the code that we need here. When we click continue, we're going to put this code 000323. We need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi on both devices, okay? Here, we need to select what items do we want to transfer to the new iPhone, right? In my case, I'm going to put contacts, allowed, the Google account, apps, I'm not going to select. But look at this, WhatsApp. So select WhatsApp, select WhatsApp, right? And this is what we're looking for, move chats to iOS. Transfer your chats and media history to your new iPhone. You will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step. So do not skip. Move chats to iOS. Okay, so click start. Preparing, 100%, almost done, next. And you can see that it says 69.7 megabytes, okay? That's the size of my WhatsApp backup. Let me check here. I have contacts, I have Google account. That's all I need, and WhatsApp. And then click continue. It says transferring data to iPhone, transferring from Android, okay? Six minutes remaining. I'm using the iOS 18, which is going to be new to the iPhone 16, all right? Transfer complete, guys. Transfer complete. And here it says recycle your Android device. Okay, so I'm done on the Android. If I want to open WhatsApp, I'm not going to be able to do it because I already passed it to iPhone, okay? So this is the other thing. Nothing is going to be deleted on your Android. You're fine. The SIM card, it's on the Android. So at the end, we're going to pass it to the iPhone, okay? Don't worry. And look at this, guys. Transfer complete. The items you transfer from your Android device are now available on this iPhone. The contacts, 81 contacts, two accounts, and WhatsApp, 60 items transfer. Continue. We need to sign into our Apple account. Okay, of course we need the password. Once we put the password, we're gonna get a code on our other device. So let's do that. Continue, and we should get a code here. You see, and that's the code. 291-291-397, okay. Agree, okay, so I'm moving on my stuff. It's signing into the iCloud account. And it says, apps and data from Android, continue. Location services later. Okay. And what else, guys? This is taking a while. Depending on your internet connection, this is going to take a while. And that's it. Welcome to iPhone. Boom. Look at this, guys. Now, you see here WhatsApp? You have to download WhatsApp. Download require. View in App Store. And here you're going to download it. Turn off personalized ads. And look at this, guys. Download WhatsApp Messenger on the iPhone. I have the SIM card here, and let's see the SIM card. Let's see my number though. Connections, SIM Manager, and this is the number that we're gonna move. I'm sorry about the noise. Uh, we're having a storm here in Miami. Heavy rain forecast. Okay, so we finished, right? Hold on, hold on. Now let's open it. Welcome to WhatsApp, agree and continue. Allowed, and we need to put the number, right? The number is 954-444-7493. And then we're gonna click next. Let's see what happened here, right? Let me close everything. Is this the correct number? Yes. Send in code. I should get the code here though. Okay, so this is a weird thing. It says, use your other phone to confirm moving WhatsApp to this one. Open WhatsApp on your Samsung Galaxy A15 to get the six digit code, okay? But that's the thing, I cannot open it because it's already logged out. It's already logged out. Unless I confirm it, which I don't think I should do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait 40 seconds and I'm gonna select need help getting code. I mean, they're gonna give us options. Need help getting a code, click there. And then you have uh, options. In order to get SMS or resend the code, it's gonna be 50 seconds. So I'm gonna click call me, okay? I'm gonna click call me. So WhatsApp should call this number, right? Let's see if they call me. Right there. This is the Meta WhatsApp number. Look. Zero. Zero. 
Okay, I put the code and it's validating the code. And look at this, guys. Move chat from Android. Tap start to move chat history to this phone. Start. Permission needed. Start. Uh, allow full access. Moving chats from Android. Keep your phone unlocked and this app open. Chat history moved to iPhone. Chat history moved to iPhone, guys. So successful. Next. Okay, I'm going to click continue. Uh, allow full access. And my name is Alex Suniga. Click done. We should see all the chats here. Look, right there. Boom. All the chats, guys. All the chat. All the chats. Specifically this one. Remember? Waiting for iOS 18 beta 7. Okay. So I got absolutely everything. Let's check here. Okay. So we have voice messages, memojis, emojis, stickers, attachments. We have contacts. Let's see here. We have the pictures and the videos. Let me see something though. Make sure that the videos play. So let's play this video. Yeah, that. All right. So that's it. It's a hundred percent successful, guys. Now, if you want, what I would suggest you to do is go to settings, go to chats, and do a chat backup. Auto backup, you can put it daily. That's a good idea. Include videos and back it up now. You might get that error, but I mean, eventually you're going to be able to do it. You see? Okay. It's going to be the same size as the other one. 66 max, pretty much. It's going to do it. This is going to take a while, guys. But yeah, that's it, guys. But that's how you move from an Android, in this case, the Samsung Galaxy A15, to the new iPhone 16. I'm using an iPhone 11 in the meantime. But remember, guys, I'm using iOS version 18, the beta 7, I think it's. Once you get your iPhone 16, you're going to have the same experience. I'll just show you in advance what you need to do to move all your chat history from an Android device to the new iPhone 16. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's the best way you can support my channel. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you and bye.